Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about the new distraction and diversion which was added by Jagex, uh, the sinkholes distraction and diversion. So yeah, to get started, uh, basically go to Day in Monheim and uh, talk to the guy, uh, tell him to teleport you and he will take you to this location. Now uh, when you're in the sinkhole, uh, basically just collect the weapons that you want to use uh, because you need to uh, fight some creatures now it's not it's not absolutely absolutely necessary that you use uh, you uh, use the weapon to its weakness uh, to the monster's weakness but it might help I guess uh, as you can see right now I I just one or two hits the creatures anyway so it's not that important now when you're in the dungeon it's very important that you uh, collect these totems uh, they're called totems but in my opinion they look like bags of gold so I'm going to call them bags of gold from now on. So anyway, uh, collect the bags of gold. Uh, I would say the uh, combat ones, they look like bags of rice. So I'm just going to call them bags of rice. Now, anyway, so just collect them, basically. I don't know whether they give different points for different totem, uh, I mean bags. <laughs> so I, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, so you get points for uh, depositing these items into the shut deposit box. So it's important that you collect these items and then deposit them later. So anyway, in the dungeon you can also collect these cards. Now these cards are used to gamble uh, in the last part of the distraction and diversion. Now the uh, unfortunate thing about this is that you can only do two dungeons uh, two of these distraction and diversion dungeons per day and um, they actually Jagex actually just changed it so that uh, you can do it every half an hour instead of two hours they they like literally just changed that just now um, but anyway um, so yeah so once you've collected all your uh, bags just go back to the beginning the first room and deposit them into the the um, what's it called the deposit box now as you can see, I didn't deposit my ores, and this kind of like uh, really screwed me because now I'm ranked number four in this in this part of the game. And basically, in this part of the game, um, your rank determines when you can play your card. So the 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 rank number five plays his card first. Now he has a big disadvantage because he has to wait. I mean, he he does his card first, and then the other four players can change what his card does. So this is a big disadvantage. So it's best to be ranked number one, so that you can you can um, play your cards last. So you have a big big advantage. And basically, um, uh, whatever whatever happens happens, and it really determines what your reward will be. Now, as you can see, I started with a small lamp. Uh, I I now I'm actually getting a a small and medium lamp. Uh, but then suddenly it changed to uh, getting Dungeoneering tokens. So that was my final reward, Dungeoneering tokens. I got 12,000, well, 11,000 uh, Dungeoneering tokens, which was, which is pretty reasonable. Like, that's pretty much um, 5 to 10% of a uh, chaotic weapon, which is really good. But I think it's determined by my level. Now, I did see some people with different rewards. For example, I saw a person with a small lamp, he got 50k experience. I saw a person with a huge lamp and he only got 20k experience. So this kind of shows you that your level really does determine what you get. So so yeah, anyway guys, it's pretty enjoyable. I definitely try it out. It's it's not amazing, but it's okay. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you.